Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 41. Hey guys, um, uh, this video is late. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. My laptop's right here and it's glowing like blue on me. Um, I'm in the bedroom because Kat's here and, uh, I didn't want her to watch me film. <laughs> but this episode's late because, uh, we've been having trouble with our air conditioning and we've had the maintenance guys coming in and out the apartment pretty much all day, every day since Wednesday. So that's why I haven't filmed. I normally film on Wednesday or Thursday and I wasn't able to this week because of that. <clears throat> so it is Saturday right now. I'm filming this. I'm going to try to get it up tonight. If not, it'll sure be up tomorrow. So I'm going to hop in. Um, that's pretty much the only update thing I have to talk about. It's going to be a short episode because for one thing, I don't have a lot of stuff to show them to. Um, I've got her in there, so I need to go back in there and, you know, entertain her. But, um, I have, I technically have five finished objects. Three of them are the same thing, and then there's two other ones, but I don't have any of them to show you. I only have one still in the house, but it's hanging up in my living room. It's a garland. And I will insert pictures as I talk about them. And then the other four are for my sister. One is her fox and three or three little things that she wanted me to make her. She sent me a picture of. Uh, so we'll get into the first one. I have my laptop here because I haven't even gotten my notepad out and like written out um, everything. My first finished object is the sitting fox and it is by I crochet things. It's a free pattern. I believe it's a PDF. I'm pretty sure it is. My sister sent me a picture or a link to this from Pinterest. I think it was. It might have been uh, Instagram, but no, I think it was Pinterest. <laughs> she is a Harry Potter fan and she did a Patronus thing and hers is a fox. So she wanted a little stuffy fox to put in her craft room. She's a cross stitcher uh, and a sewer. <laughs> but she sent me the picture of it and I'll pop up images here of my finished one. I finished it for her and gave it to, gave it to her yesterday, I think. And um, it was super quick and easy. I used Red Heart Super Saver Carrot in white. The uh, Brown bits is Red Heart with Love chocolate, I think, maybe. I can't exactly remember the brown color, but I know it's Red Heart with Love. And then I use Safety Eyes, and the little nose and mouth is just embroidered on with uh, Red Heart Super Saver Black that I split up to make, like, floss. Floss with yarn. Yeah, he was super fast. His body and his head is stuffed with fiber fill, and then I stuffed his ears, his snout, his, all his legs, and his tail with uh, the clippings from the rest of him. So all his, everything but his head and body are stuffed with all the ends, the orange, orangey color, white and brown ends. So it's a good way to just use up those ends. I usually save them in a bag. I have a whole, like a Walmart shopping bag full of them from other projects. So I just used his cause I just needed stuffing and didn't want to get up and get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was super fun to make. and. He was kind of a pain in the butt to sew together because he was 13, I think it was 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 individual pieces that had to be sewn together, which stinks. I don't like really sewing stuff together, but I do like making amigurumis and seeing the finished project. I hope I'm looking at the camera. I have another new phone <laughs> because my other one messed up. So this is uh, black. The, whole, the other one was rose gold. This one's black. So I can't really tell exactly where the camera is. I think it's right there. Yep. <laughs> so I'm kind of looking in the general area of it. But maybe not right at it. Just because I can't see it. <laughs> but yeah, that's my first finished, finished object. And it was a fox for my sister. My second finished object. I'll do the other things for my sister. Oh darn, I didn't pull it. Yeah, I did. It's right here. It is called a cord tamer. It's like for you to wrap around a cord <laughs> to keep it from, you know, unraveling. I'll pop up the picture. This actually has the pattern on it. I may just, I'll pop it up. I'll pop it up a little bit right here, but I will link it below. Because it's got the name of who it's from on there. I'll try to find it and link it below. But she just sent me this picture. And she wanted me to just crochet her the crochet part. And then she would put her own buttons on it. And she needed three. And she said she didn't care what colors. It was made with elf hook. And I used, um... And this is the ones that I made. I'll pick, pop up a picture. It's a Red Heart Super Saver Takura, I think is how, what it's called. It's like a turquoise color. I just grabbed a scrap ball out of my scrap ball bucket and used it because she didn't care what colors. I think she's in it for her headphones and stuff like that. But it was super quick. I made all three of them in like 20 minutes. It's a very quick pattern. Um, I think it's just 13 or 14 rows and then you just go around the whole thing. 
to give it like a nice edging. Super quick. It'd be easy to make a ton of those to have like an little container at a fair or something and sell them for like a buck each um, and have one demonstrated showing what it's for. Maybe a little bit more than a dollar because of the yarn and the buttons, depending on what buttons you buy. But I imagine people would buy them for headphones. I would, you know, if I was going to put them on display, I would put them on display with headphones so that people could see that it would tame their headphones. I might actually make a bunch of those for the Christmas thing that I may do later this year. And my last finished object, uh, if you're in the Facebook group, you would have seen that I was working on this and you would have seen it almost finished. I thought I had it finished, but um, it turned out it was too short, so I had to go back and do two more little pieces and add on to it, which I did last night. I finished it. And it is the Star Spangled Banner <clears throat> by Kara Gunsma. Gun no, it's not. Gunza. 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 <laughs> G-U-N-Z-A. Gunza. I stink at pronouncing things, I'm sure you've noticed. It's a free pattern. Um, Cindy actually shared this on the Facebook group and tagged me in it. She thought it would be something I enjoy, which it was because I love making um, holiday decorations for my house. And I already have on the doors, I always hang up like dollar uh, tree decorations. I have three now that I'll be taking pictures of and showing y'all on the Facebook group that are like patriotic themed because uh, in two weeks, I think two weekends, is the American uh, Memorial Day. So, uh, it's red, white, and blue, you know, patriotic. And then a month later is our Independence Day, 4th of July. So, um, well, I'm like five weeks later. <laughs> and um, I I wanted to get stuff from Memorial Day so that I could hang it up now and it could be good all of June and into July for Independence Day. And then I won't have to change my decorations out for like six weeks six seven weeks and then I'm gonna try to find some summery themed things to put up for a couple months and then go right into fall uh, and it's Christmas which is just my favorite time of the year I wish I could start Christmas stuff super early I mean I could no one could tell me not to but whatever I'll just try to stick with November <laughs> actually like Halloween is the last day uh, without Christmas to me like as soon as November comes wow it's Christmas season Thanksgiving schmanks <laughs> But yeah, this pattern was super fun, right? I'll pop up a picture here <laughs> of uh, the one that I completed. Uh, it's two little patterns. It's star-shaped. It's a six-point star, which some people might not like because some people have superstitions about things like that. To me, it's a star. Technically, any shape with five-plus points is considered a star. And um, I'm not superstitious. And actually, the religion, Jess, Jesse, Devin, and I kind of lean towards and uh, involves a six-pointed star. So <laughs> it's not like a big deal. Um, I don't talk about religion on here or politics on here because I, you know, I don't want to start unnecessary arguments over stupid things that really don't matter, um, to most people. So, but then it's like a rainbow shape <laughs> or a half circle, but it's red, white, and blue. I use red heart super saver, white, cherry red, and I can't remember the blue. I know it's red heart super saver, but it's either just blue or it's a, a word. I can't remember what it is, but it's it's a Red Heart Super Saver. I know for a fact because I, almost all my scraps are Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, and then the banner is made out of a chain and then single crochets uh, of Red Heart Super Saver white. <laughs> so I did finish it and then I ended up having to make another star and another half circle to make it fit in my doorway. And if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I always make a banner to hang there. Um, I just enjoy having little decorations like that around. <clears throat> So I already got it hanging up, so I can't actually show it to you. But yeah, it's super easy. I think it was a an H hook. I'm pretty sure it was an H hook. And they're super fast patterns. Like I didn't make that in one like one sitting. I just um, I did have to go back and fix or add extra because I thought it was gonna be long enough, but it wasn't. But yeah, it's hanging up now and it looks awesome. I think I'm gonna be making a flag from Heidi Yates to put on my wall. Uh, not where I normally hang my flags because I put a picture there. I'm going to have to hang it on the opposite wall, but it'll still look good. Alright, that is all of my finished objects. So I had five. It's three of the head, or the cord tamers, the banner, and the fox. <clears throat> and as for whips, I only have one whip, which is very weird. Normally I have at least three. <laughs> But um, I've been super busy lately and we've had so much people coming in our house lately because we've been having issues with everything. And right now even our commode is trying to, it's like running sometimes. So we're probably going to have to have someone come in and fix that too. Um, it's just annoying. I hate when people are just coming in the house. And I really hate like the air conditioner people because they don't set a time. They just like show up randomly 
they tell you, you know, like, they're like FedEx. They're like 8 to 8. <laughs> 8 to 8. Or it can be there anywhere, anywhere between 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And it's just annoying. I would, I would rather know exactly when they're coming. But, um, and I don't like people being here when we're gone. And the landlords let people do that. And it's just uncomfortable because, you know, I don't know if they're trustworthy or not. Like, it's still our stuff and we don't have proof. But anyways, so I've been home, stuck home since Wednesday when these stupid air conditioner guys who aren't good at their job because they fixed it three times and it's still not working right. <laughs> but whatever. My whip, my only whip is in this bag, my Christmas bag. And it is the Sunrise Market Tote. I've only worked on it a little bit since last time, but it does have progress. It's a free pattern by Elizabeth Spivey. I'm doing this as part of the cro um oh god crochet along or you know the make along of um mine and Moe's from Unseen Strands that is a cakewalk. I'm using a Karen cake that was gifted to me by Hannah. Oh, I can't get it out. It is Karen cake, I think it's called Rainbow Sprinkles or something like that. And this is my market bag so far. It's hard to hold because <laughs> it's floppy. But yeah, last time I only had one repeat of this down here and I've since added two more. <laughs> I'm into the green now. Uh, I was actually hoping to finish this, but so much stuff happened over the weekend and all that that I got slowed down. But maybe I'll finish it soon. That's my only whip. And it's, I'm making it with a what hook? An eye hook, and it's the bunny one my sister got me, uh, for something, I can't remember. Alright, let's stick that back in there. Into my bag. Oh. Right, that's my only whip. <laughs> I am, I got a lot of stuff that I would like to start, so I probably will start some more stuff after the weekend. Uh, it's Saturday right now, I think I already mentioned that. And then tomorrow, me and Devin is gonna be going to the movies and having a date and stuff, all that. All that kind of stuff. And going to swim more than likely if it's not raining. <laughs> but it's been raining a lot here. And, uh, but there are a lot of things. I I've talked about some of the things I want to start working on <clears throat> soon in the last episode. Episode 40. But, uh, I don't know if I'm going to actually start those or something else. I don't know. I just, oh, I change my mind a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and do some acquisitions because I did buy some stuff. I bought myself some yarn and then my sister got me, um, a little birthday gift. That was late because she uh, had to wait for part of it to get mailed. Alright, so I'll start with what I bought. I went to Hobby Lobby, um, I think it was Thursday. And they had gotten, they have a brand there called Yarn Bee. And they, they have released, I think, five or six new lines of yarn. Uh, they've released an alpaca blend, a wool blend, a nylon blend. <laughs> Uh, another acrylic one, a cotton one, and another wool one that is, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like Red Heart Super Saver Unforgettable. They, it's, there's, I think there's six of them all together. They're really nice yarns. There were some that I really wanted to buy, but they didn't have as many as I wanted. Because, you know, I don't want to just buy one of something unless I'm making something small. So I did buy five of, five different yarns, but, um two of the new brands or the new types. I don't know what I'm saying. All the all of them are like the sugar wheels. I don't know. But they're like different parts of it. They all kind of have the same theme of like sweets. And I got two of the cotton ones and they're called cotton wheel or cotton wheel. Sugar wheel cotton. Very simple. Um by the way when I bought these they were all 30% off again. And this one is called Be Still My Tart. <laughs> I bought this because I want to make a Swiffer um pad for like a dust mop pad you know uh for my swiffer it's, it's really soft cotton it's really thin i, th I think it's a, it says it's a four but it seems more like a three to me but it's a purple green and a uh, gray uh mix <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying i think it's really pretty and it is here's the label it's yarn be sugar wheel cotton be, be still my tart <laughs> it is whoop, it is 5 ounces or 142 grams. It is 335 yards or 306 meters. It is 100% cotton. It says it's a size 4, like I said, but it is super thin. It's like mandala thin, so it's more like a 3, I think. And then I got another one, and it's called Gour Gourmet Garnish. And it's the same um, 
sugar wool cotton and it's just blues and greens i love blues and greens together that's like my favorite color combo it's, it reminds me of like water and ocean and me and devin and even jesse now really love stuff like that just really pretty blues and greens and it's the same as the other one yeah i just got one of each of those because i thought that'd be enough just to make swiffer pads with and if there's any extra after the swiffer pad i can just make some little cloths or something like that and it's just a good little taste of that yarn because then if I like it, I could always go back and buy more. And this other one, I have no idea what I'm going to make with this. I bought three balls of it. And I was kind of thinking maybe making a wrap or a shawl. Like a shawlette. A little scarfish shawl. Because <laughs> I don't really like shawls, but I like scarfs. And then a shawlette is kind of like a scarf mixed with a shawl. But this is Yarn Bee Sweet Divinity. And the color is Aquamarine. I bought three of them. I'll show you the first one first. It's like a turquoise color. It's not really showing up good because of the yellow light in my bedroom, <laughs> but I did buy three of them. They have some really pretty colors of these, but there weren't many. Like, there's a really pretty, like, dusty rose one. It's beautiful, but they didn't have, but, like, two of them. I just said like a lot. <laughs> it is, I think this is a size four. It's also really thin, though. Where are the, they're in the band. Let's see here. It's 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. 243 yards or 222 meters. It's 80% acrylic, 20% nylon. It says it's a size 4, but again, it's really small. It's really, really thin. Boop. More like a size 3. I got four of those because I thought if I didn't end up making a wrap, like shawl thingy, it would be enough. Plus, I could always go back and buy more, I guess. But this is like a turquoise color, but it's like a dusty. It's like, it's hard to explain the color it's all it's not exactly one color it's almost not variegated but it's kind of like uh what's it called ombre-ish kind of i don't know if i don't know if i'm thinking of the right word but it's almost variegated but it's speckly kind of can you see the different hues <laughs> i don't know how to describe that it's real pretty and then the other yarn i bought i just bought two uh skeins of i love this yarn and it is print. I love this yarn print. It's called Crushed Raspberry. I just thought it was pretty. It's white with like pink and gray specks in it. I thought it would be a cute like bunny or something. I was thinking bunny. I saw like a bunny amigurumi with big long ears. I thought it would be cute. And it's just 5 ounces, 142 grams, 252 yards, 230 meters, 100% in acrylic. It is size 4. And I got two of them. Just to make an amigurumi with. I like pink. <laughs> That's all the yarn that I bought myself. I wanted to buy more that day and I had permission. <laughs> you know, Devin was totally for me to buy more yarn. But everything I wanted, they didn't have enough of. Because I like to buy all the amount that I need right then and there. And not have to come back. Alright, this next stuff is what my sister got me. She got me some beef jerky too, but I already ate it. <laughs> the first thing I will show you, she got me this bag. <laughs> real similar to the one that I gave away and I also bought myself one. It's got ice cream on it. And then it's also got a, the pool is a, an ice cream cone. <laughs> she got this, she said, from Target. Probably the dollar spot, I don't know. She loves it from the Target. But yeah, super cute. There's just speckles and yeah, I like sprinkles. And it's glittery. And then she bought me some cart cotton. Peaches and cream cotton. Cotton, 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 cotton. She got me... Bright orange, black currant, and <laughs> bright pink. Very pretty summery colors. This reminds me of like Snappy Tots. If you had a blue and a green in there, it would look Snappy Tots. But um, I've actually been wanting to get some more cotton to make uh, dishcloths. And there was something else I found the other day that I wanted to make cotton but I can't remember what it what it is so maybe if I come across it again I will already have some cotton for it but yeah she gave me got me one of each of those well I think I guess everybody knows about these it's a size four where are the specs uh 120 yards approximately 2.5 ounces she got me a really cute card it says hey cupcake and it looks like an old picture like an old little character off of a drive-in commercial and in the card, she gave me a bunch of sheets. I don't know if she made these or she got these from, uh, I don't know where she got these. I need to ask her. But they're just, she got me four sheets of them. 
there's stickers that say thank you for shopping small and they're like con got little confetti hearts she got me these and gave them to me and said that she thought I would want to send it like on the envelope or something if someone bought something from me from Etsy or something like that you know that's cool and then the coolest thing she got me were hooks she ordered there's a company uh, they have an Instagram and they also have a website and it's called the Clay, Clay Bean Company. Uh, I'll link it below if I can remember. And uh, she makes a bunch of hooks, polymer clay hooks, but she also randomly makes a bunch of random littler hooks. Not as fancy and detailed as the other ones um, that she sells as a mystery hook. So you don't know what you're going to get or what size. You can pick the brand, like Boyer Bates or Clover. Um... And you pay $5 plus shipping and she sends you a hook. So my sister got me three of those. And she's gotten me these multiple times. And I've gotten some myself. But the first one, she got me all season baits because she knows that's the ones I like. This is a J. And it is a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and the handle just like got spots and star shapes on it. So it's a little chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and then the next one is an H. And it is a little frog head. And the handle's just like swirly uh, yellow and blue. Super cute. And then she got me, I think this is a G. Yeah, a G. And it is like a moon. And then stars. Super cute. I think the moon kind of looks like Pac-Man. Me, 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 me. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, that's probably why this is a mystery hook instead of an actual hook. I think she probably wasn't happy with the way the moon looked, but I, you know, you could totally tell it's a moon. I'm happy with it. I love it. It is glittery. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, she got me those three hooks. Two. Yay! And that's awesome because they're Susan Bates, which are my favorite. Hooks. I want, I want a whole set of these and I want multiple elves. <laughs> I already have two elves, I think, that are polymer clay ones. I have the one with a. Yeah, because I have the penguin one my sister got me for Christmas, and I have the mouse one that I got myself, I think. I can't remember if Hattie got me that or not. But anyways, I got two elf ones, and elf is my most used size because of my amigurumis, and elf makes the size that I like. I don't like, I mean, I like all amigurumis, and every now and then I'll make tiny ones and big ones, but I like the medium-sized ones. But yeah, that's everything. That's all my acquisitions and all my projects and all that stuff. I'm going to probably go ahead and hop off because, like I said, cat's in there, and I need to go entertain her. And, um, all that stuff. I got some growing up things I gotta do around the house. Cleaning and stuff before Jesse gets home. I don't think I mentioned that. He's at my mom's. <laughs> she, we went to visit her today and he ended up staying with her. Because he throws a fit and wants to stay. And, um, she was gonna watch him anyways tomorrow for us so that we could go on a date. So she just decided to go ahead and keep him. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and go in there with Kat and watch TV. She's watching Hocus Pocus right now. She really enjoys that movie. She watches it a lot when she's here. But, yeah, I think it's everything. My links are below as usual. My Instagram, my Ravelry page, my Ravelry group, and my Facebook group. The Facebook group is the most active. Um, I'm on there pretty much every day uh, sharing stuff and other people are sharing things. It's real neat. So, if you're not a member, go ahead and join it. Every 100 people, I give away a pattern, uh, a Ravelry pattern. Uh, I'm not sure how many members we have now. We have over 200. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm also going to be having a crochet and chat video coming out. I have it scheduled for tomorrow, but it depends on when I get this movie out. I might move it. Movie. This video out. I might move it up a day or something. It's actually a crochet and frog. <laughs> I'm not crocheting. Or, not a crochet and frog. A frog and chat. <laughs> because I'm not crocheting and I'm frogging something. But <clears throat> it's still like 30 minutes long. So it's still... Uh, you can still crochet or frog, whatever, and along with me. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off and I said it like 4,000 times. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.